It's late afternoon. I'm out uh, walking again with our dogs, my wife and my son. Um, earlier, we didn't go out because it was very hot. So hopefully, I can find some mushrooms. It's a start of autumn. It rained on last, the last few days. Hopefully, the mushrooms would have popped out from the ground. I just found my first mushroom. It's quite old. It's been eaten all over. There's two of them. This one. Wait to see what it is. It's quite a long stalk. Very firm stalk. This is definitely one of your bullets. I can already see a, a red stem. Right. And there you have it. This is definitely a bullet. You've got your pores. Your red stem. With a yellow background. I think this is one of your, your Scalatina bullet. Very nice looking mushroom. So you got your brown yellowish cap, your red stem on a yellow background. It doesn't have a bulbous base. And it's been eaten by slugs. And look, this is what you call oxidation, so it turns black when it's damaged. The rest of the pores you can still see, red, yellow. At the tip of the stem, quite pale yellow, but down here, it's quite red. Very nice mushroom. Her first find for today. And that's the other one there. There's another small one here. Another bullet. So these bullets that I found are growing under uh, a mixture of chestnuts and beet tree so it's just growing along the path some grass and some leaf litter This is a big one. It's starting to get moldy. So that's a white mold there. And one here. Still quite young, but it's been eaten. Look at this. What a shame. These are your horse mushroom. They're quite huge. And there's another one here. This would have been very good to take home. 
if it was still fresh. Oh, these are definitely edible. So horseshoe mushrooms, they grow quite large, as big as a plate. And they have gills underneath. And they can be pink to dark brown colored gills like this ones. And you get your stamp with a ring and uh, a bulbous base. Uh, what a shame. It would have been good if I caught this early or foraged here early. I would have uh, taken this home. Look at what my son found. Can you point to it? There! It's an oyster mushroom. Be careful. Let me go up. Okay, hold on. I think I need to turn off the camera. Now look at this guys, this is a huge beech tree that has fallen down, there's loads of turkey tails and fungus growing, but you can see oyster mushrooms, and this is what my son found, look at that, wow, So you got your gills going growing down and your oyster like cap and if you can see the white spots those are the pores spores I mean of the oyster mushroom let me take this home I think this is still quite good it's not old yet So we can have this for dinner. Lovely. Thank you. Wow. Wow. This is a good almost 200 grams of oyster mushroom. I'm gonna leave this this is quite small there's another one there and actually there's a few more growing along the sides but they're quite old and even down there if you could have a look there's another one growing but that's old already and there's another one there wow very nice oyster mushroom As big as my hand. And this one is a yellow russula. Yellow cap. White stem. Growing around left litter. Your brittle gills. Mushroom. Look, I found another bitterbill mushroom. There you go, it's yellow again. That's a big stump. Yeah. Yeah, the the gills flake. That's why it's called the bitter gills. Mushroom. So I think this is for today's mushroom foraging. I didn't expect much but it's been a very lovely foraging 
I found a oyster mushroom and a, a few more bullets and your brittle gills so I'm very happy it's good I decided to go out and join me next time and thank you for joining me